Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Pikmin! Last time, we returned back to the impact site to raise our Pikmin numbers, as well as get a missing ship part that we couldn't get because, well, we didn't have blue Pikmin with us our first time there. Today, we're going to be returning back to the Forest of Hope because there are still four ship parts located over there, and most of which we couldn't get to because, well, once again, we need the blue Pikmin to get to them. So, let's make our way back there, and let's get more of this just absolutely calming and amazing music. I'll never get tired of hearing this theme. And yeah, uh, if you remember from our second trip here, not our first trip, we left a couple of Pikmin buried in the ground. And since they were buried here for the entirety of us leaving, they are just sitting here ready to be plucked. Alright, so going into this... How do we really want to go about this? Actually, you know what? No. Let's get our blues out. I want to have a battalion of, let's say, 50 blues. We'll go with uh, around, uh, I'd say, 15 yellows. And we'll make the remainder of our Pikmin group nothing but reds. Which is 19, but there's also the ones to account for around the onion themselves. So, it's a little bit more than 19. I think it's like around, uh, I'm gonna say maybe like 25 Pikmin. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's get you guys working on getting some nectar. Oh my god, and once again, another flower trips and falls flat on his face. I swear, I know, oh I always say that flower Pikmin have the least amount of chances to trip and fall over, and it's usually the leaves that are the more clumsy out of all of them. But this game is just making a liar out of me. Alright. Well, not as much as I wanted, but still a fair decent amount of Pikmin that got flowered. I think there's another... Yeah, there's another patch of grass right here we can go and pluck up and hopefully get some more nectar. There we go. Swarm, my children! And even more nectar, thank you. Drink up! Drink and grow healthy and strong! Alright, everybody wake up. It's time to get to work. Alright, so there's a couple things we do have to do. Uh, as you can see, there's a bridge over there that we need to take care of, and let's just take care of this dwarf over real quick, as well as his little friend over here. Come out, there we go. Alright, so what I want to do is take care of the sheer grubs as well, especially the males. Okay, now what I really want to do... Oh, I, oh man, I lost a Pikmin. To, uh, it must have been that male one right there. Damn it. Oh, nope, nope. Guys, I don't need you doing that right now. Uh, what I need you to do is get to work on this bridge right here. You guys work on that. Uh, we're going to take... No, don't get the yellows mixed up. I want to take a group of... Alright, there we go. Drop around like 10 or so blues over there, and we're going to take this group of blues and we're going to go into the water because over here is one of our ship parts, A, and B is another bridge that we had to use our blues exclusively to get to. I wonder if it is actually possible to have like one of your reds or yellows to like drown swim all the way over there to get it. it you probably would be losing a lot of Pikmin. It would just be a lot easier to get blues over there instead of just having to babysit one of red or yellow to get to this like little little nook right here in the rocks. But it, it's something I always wanted to try and experiment. Uh, these old guys over here, these are wog poles. They are absolutely completely harmless. The only thing that they are really good for is just upping your Pikmin numbers. They grow up into something kind of deadly, and it's something that we're going to have to get uh, accustomed to next time we return back to the Force Naval. And for you guys, I don't really have anything I need you to do right now, per se. Probably would have been better to just focus on getting uh, reds and blues this time. Hmm. Oh, actually, you know what? No, I know exactly what I need you guys to do. I need you guys over here to get some bomb rocks. Come on, come on, move for me, boys. All right, four or five, uh, five bomb rocks. Yeah, that's a fair decent amount. And we're just gonna take our bomber boys. We're gonna split you guys up. Take you guys over here. And 
we're gonna toss them up onto this little ledge right here. Now, we'll have to come back for them later because there's no way we can get over to it because we need our battalion of blues to knock down that white wooden fence to get to the other side of it. So, for the time being, uh, we're... Oh, the reds are actually done. And the blues should be getting done pretty soon. They're about halfway done. So, I guess in, in the time to kill... Actually, no, wait, no. Save on getting the share groups real quick, guys, because I want you to go up here so we can get another ship part. I really want to see if I can actually get all four of these ship parts in just one day, and I'm going to have to play my cards really, really right if I want that to be the case. So we're going to toss you boys up here, head on over here to this little secret passage, and sitting right here, it's the shock absorber. This apparatus can, uh, counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's smooth sailing uh, with this in place, usually. I feel like the shock absorber would be more for, like, landing and not taking off or flying, because, like, once you're in the air, you, you usually, like, smooth sailing, aside from, like, some turbulence. Alright, this boat we're right here is a jerk. There's usually a good chance that your Pikmin are gonna not get him in the right spot, because there's been multiple accounts where a Pikmin will just keep hitting him, but he takes no damage, because it's, like, a really weird, like, spot that he's put in. But, for now, let's get you guys on the shock absorber. And not enough to get the bow board either. I would need a couple more Pikmin for that one. Probably should have brought the yellows with me. Oh well. Blues are done over here, so while they're carrying the shock absorber back, let's get you guys over to this ship part. And even though this looks like it should be an optional ship part, this is actually a requirement to get the normal ending of the game. I found my Sagittarius. My son gave this to me as a present. It brings back, uh, brings to mind visions of my son back from Planet Hokotate. Oh, to be back there right now. Yeah, a memento from Olimar uh, Olimar's son is a requirement. I repeat, a requirement for him to be able to get back home safe and sound. Alright, let's get you guys just carrying these shear grubs back. I want to carry... No, nope, not... I want to I'm carry two of them. Oh, wow, that made good time. Shock Absorber. This nifty little device counteracts the shaking and swaying experienced in typical space flight. I'll recover 10 of the 30 parts. If I can j find two more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Well, we're going to have to be getting one more back pretty soon. And if I play my cards right, we should actually be able to upgrade our ship to its next uh, flight ability relatively fast. Let's wait for the blues to get back. Uh, reds, you and the yellows. Oops. I didn't mean to call the blues off of the ship part. But, oh well, it made it back. This was a gift from my son. He must be very worried about me. I've now recovered 11 out of 30 parts. Just need to find one more and we'll be able to visit a new area. Why'd you guys follow me? Oh, I think it was because they went after the the Peliposis. Go away, Red. I don't need you right now. I will need you in a short bit. Don't worry about that. And, ooh, we are getting really close to the half-day point, so... Get up! So it's going to take a little bit. Mm. Uh, I might not be able to get what I want done, but we can get a, a boss fight out of the way. Probably gonna have to save getting the last ship part for the next day. Which I mean, it's not that bad. If I, if I do not get all the ship parts in today, then at least it. What, what are you doing just standing right there? If I don't get all the ship parts in today, then that just means it's an extra day to just build a Pikmin numbers, which I'm okay with. I'm gonna float for you guys up there. And thankfully, you're not all sliding off the edge. You guys are almost done, so I might as well just take this, uh, take care of this while we're over here. And if I do have the time to get the other piece, then great. But if not, then at least I can make some decent headway into preparing for the next area for it. 
All right, this time, bump into. Do not whistle for my bomb, Pikmin. Throw them over to the black gate. Let them just start dropping their bombs. And sure, you guys can see if there's any nectar. Although I don't even think there's any more leaves. There's a couple buds, I guess. So I guess we could uh, upper number or upper quality Pikmin. All right, there we go. All right, you did enough. It's time for a boss fight, folks. This is the Armor Cannon Beetle. It looks very intimidating, and the fact that it shoots a giant rock at you uh, constantly that has no limit to how many Pikmin it can kill. It seems like it's a tough boss fight. It's kind of a pushover, not gonna lie. What you gotta do is just throw your Pikmin while it's sucking up some air. Pikmin gets stu uh, stuck in the port, and then while its back is exposed, you want to just toss your Pikmin to your heart's content over there and just keep letting them wail on it. Ooh. Aw, oh, come on. He's only got a sliver of health left. Come on. Uh, what? Oh, no! You, you, you fought well, my friend. Okay, that's really bad. Definitely do not use yellow Pikmin for this fight. Better for reds because it's easier for them to get caught in the the suction port. Finish this fool off. How many Pikmin did we lose? I don't know. I think we lost like maybe like 12 Pikmin to this guy. Anyways, here it is, my radiation canopy. This turns the harsh radiation of deep space into a soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get this back in the ship, and I won't have to worry about exposure to radiation poisoning. Get my Pikmin on this thing. Get this back here. And uh, who should I really give the... Well, you know what? My blue numbers are still pretty low. So let's just get our blues up here. And they can get to work on just replenishing their numbers that I severely lacked in getting when we were at the impact site. Alright. Get you guys up there. Come on. Seriously. And... Did I leave a Pikmin up here? Okay, no, he attached himself to... Oh, he attached himself to the... The canopy. Or did he attach himself to the pellet? Oh, well. It doesn't matter. We're... The only thing that really does matter is the fact that he won't be left behind. And judging by... The timing on the clock up above us, and the fact that it's getting really, really late... I'm gonna say that we are probably going to have to save the next and final ship part of this area for the next day. Ah, finally, no more radiation poisoning. I have to inspect it later to make sure it hasn't cracked. I'll be in for even more trouble if I have any radiation leaks. Ah, it's okay, Olimar. All you gotta do is just fill it with mud. I've recovered 12 out of 30 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. And with that, our egg beater has been engaged. And it looks like the hole uh, fixed itself a little bit, which is nice. Alright. Let's get you guys over to here. I'm going to do my best to avoid the bulwarks. Now, this is actually something that you can only do in the GameCube version of Pikmin, which is why I have to wait till I get my blues here. You don't need the blues if you are playing the Wii version because of the fact that it has increased throwing capabilities. You can actually just throw reds or yellows over to this thing, and they can push it easily. Yes, there's a good chance that they will probably drown and die, but still, it saves you having to wait until you get to the Force Naval to get the ship hurt. But I am probably going to just save uh, getting the ship part for another time, seeing as how we are close to the end of the day, and we are getting... Uh, it's going to be a pretty challenging fight to get that ship part, so I'm going to save it for another day. And instead, we're just going to use this remaining time that we have to just up our Pikmin numbers, because after that armor cannon beetle fight, I'm definitely going to need to get some more numbers, especially with my reds. But I will just let the blues have uh, whatever's around here real quick, and whatever's left behind it, like the bulb orb and stuff, we'll just let the reds or yellows have it. Right, get some Pikmin up and at him. Huh, one actually matured into a flower. everybody 
Uh, Blues, you can go back to your onion for now. Get you guys back in there. And let's just get the remainder... 58 reds, and then the, the remainder Pikmin will just be yellows. There we go. Now it's at least a guarantee that these guys will finally start getting some more numbers to them. Even though really the blues are someone who or are the Pikmin that should, really should be getting the treatment, although... Uh, I'm not going to be able to get the big guy, but at least I can probably get these little guys. Ow. Alright. Enjoy your snack, boys. Countdown's got that ready to start, so don't want to risk the big bulb orbs. I really could probably have gone for the, the big one that we killed up by the shock absorber. Right, you're taking those guys to the reds. And, yep, all 100. Alright, well... We lost a lot of Pikmin to combat for today, but we still were able to upgrade our ship's capabilities, and next time we return here, we'll be able to get the final ship part and get up! And we'll be able to finally say goodbye to the Force of Hope, sadly, and head back to the Force Naval for some more ship parts. Stop staring at me with them big old eyes. Six days since impact. I have managed to increase the range of the dolphin. Looking from the dolphin's portal, as it launches ever higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I shall call it the Distant Spring. I can begin my exploration of it tomorrow. For now, I must sleep. Ugh. Fifteen lost in battle. Ugh, that's... Mm, mm, I hate that number. But we got 84 Pikmin sprouted, and in total we got a 448. Well, actually, that's a total number of Pikmin we've sprouted throughout our adventure, but so far we have 423. I really need to work on getting those numbers up, but hey, the blues finally broke out of the double digits, or in the triple digits themselves, so that's good. All right. With a new location discovered next time on Pikmin. We are not going to be going to there or to the Force Naval. We're going to return back to the Force of Hope one last time to get that final ship part and then maybe just get some more Pikmin numbers. Or maybe we'll do a double day that day. Who knows? Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Later.